We're now going through the historical district. Selvini. And then after the curb, when there's still a drop off, we're going to go south into New Mexico. I want to see some other land. 99 bottles of beer. She also she thinks she came out of her seat. Is that a Honda dealership? <laughs> the power of pie. Can you get in closer? You, my dear, we're gloating. It's a very tranquil and beautiful area here. So $12 a night, which isn't bad. Frequent visiting bears that like to from the campground. Okay, I'll stop, get out, and put the pin in. going through the historical district of Ridgeway, Colorado, where a lot of the scenes from True Grit, the original movie, were filmed. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. There's they even have a bar back there that says the True Grit Salute. How do you feel about leaving Uray? Wish we could have spent maybe another full day there at least. At least another full day, that would yeah. have been nice, yeah. Got up fairly early and had a long day yesterday, so we accomplished quite a bit. If we were gonna go, or if you were gonna go, on a long hike, especially that six and a half mile hike, of course you're gonna need more time. We're heading to Arizona. We're gonna be around Sholo for a little while and while we're in Arizona we're hoping that we can sell Vinny and locate our new RV.
another beautiful thing. Yeah, beautiful. How many times can I say yeah? Yeah. Shaggy. How you doing over there? I'm really disappointed in this highway system that they don't believe in railings through the whole stretch. They have them on like a curve, but then after the curve, when there's still a drop off, there is no railing. I'm really hoping we get to some ugly land so I can stop recording so much. <laughs> I don't think anybody has ever said, I want to see some ugly land. I never thought I'd ever say that either. And just for a little while, give me a little break. We just reached 10,000 feet. I think that might be the highest we've ever had Vinny. Yeah. You be a good boy now, Vinny, okay? Be a good boy. Stay healthy. I think I can. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. I forgot the name of that, what was that? <laughs> I was literally like, please don't ask me the name of that book. <laughs> What's the name of that book? Little Engine That Could, thank God. That didn't sound good. It's The Little Engine That Could. Why did that not sound good? Cortez, Colorado. We're going to go south into New Mexico a little bit before we turn west to go to Arizona. We're still in the town of Cortez. Time it is. Body break. Fuel. Fuel time. That too. Da, 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 da. Fuel time. You picked the one with the pothole right from it. They all have potholes. You want anything in there? <laughs> yeah. Glad we bought that big old box of rubber gloves when we were at uh, one of the harvest hosts. Do you wish to purchase truck fuel? Yes, you press yes. Do you want to purchase DEF? You'd say no if you don't want that. Cash advance? Nope. Before you pump fuel here, you have to go into Ute Mountain Travel Center to give them your TSD card first. Okay. Okay, all right. Should we get on the rope? New Mexico line, but there was no sign for it. There was a sign the other way for Colorado, but no sign for New Mexico. We saw one little sign, but it was so badly covered with graffiti that you couldn't even read what it said. Oh, 
bottles of beer on the wall. 99 bottles of beer. Take one down. Sparkling water. 98 bottles of beer. Coming on 491, south of Cortez, in New, it's New a, Mexico. in New Mexico, it's a horrible road. Um, it's not so bad right now, but back your ways, Michelle said she thinks she came out of her seat. I mean, it was just no warning signs of bumps. It was, I think it tops any of the roads, bad roads that we've been on any other state that was really really bad yeah. and it's a, it's a four-lane highway US 491 today? No. I think we wish we would have had the salad after all. Yeah, probably so. <laughs> Where's your bracelet, Grandma? It's on my desk. I'm going to wear this bracelet that our granddaughter made us both one for good luck. I'm going to put that on. Isn't that pretty? It is. Very colorful. We have two hours. It says two hours and 42 minutes left and we got to get going. Uh, we're gonna gain an hour, but we can't check in after nine, so I'm on the road again. I'm driving, you're smiling, just really doing nothing. That's the thing I like about you. Mm. On the highway, it's our way, Route 66, and we keep on driving. We just do what we wanna do, yeah. No, nothing's complicated with you Hey, we're playing songs on the radio Sing along to the words that we don't know how It brings out all the wild games Let's just run away Yeah, I could drive the horn along Being with you is like being on the rodeo How it brings out all the wild games I got a little crush on you favorite things okay maybe favorite two things pie and ice cream okay that's not what today's video is about <laughs> it's supposed to be a great place down in Greer Arizona it's supposed to be really beautiful and kind of different from what you see in most of Arizona maybe it is up there because I think it's higher elevation than where we're at now well it's up there but it's down there it's south of we're here we're going south which is down up. and elevation. we're going up which is up I think they get it. We'll, we'll get there some. And we're going there now. In 1.4 miles, turn left onto West Tucson Clubs. Is that a Hung Da dealership?
there it was, the Rendezvous Diner. That's supposed to be a, oh God, the place around. to get the most amazing piece of pie, is what we were told back at the RV resort. And Michelle's gonna find out, aren't you, dear? Hopefully, they still have some. This is a cool little town. It kind of makes you think of Colorado. Thanks. Sorry. It does. Let's go get pie. They did warn us that you got to get here early or the pie will be gone. Like, but you have to get here before 2 and it's 11.30. But it is a weekend, so it could be gone early. Yeah, she wants me to quit talking so she can go have her pie. Yes. All right. You noticed I got a fishing pole back here in case we are able to come along a river. Might take 15 minutes and try to catch a trout. Get your mask ready. Kind of hoping. Hurry up. All right, pie time. The power of pie. She used to hold my hand when we walked places. Then I realized it was pie. Nice little quaint town here. In Since Greer. 1909. Can you get in closer? <laughs> Michelle was gloating, which short for gloating. Gloating or bloating? Gloating. You may be bloating, but we don't need to know that. But you were definitely gloating. Dwelling on one's own success or another's misfortune with smugness or malignant pleasure. You, my dear, were gloating. It was not. That sure was good pie. Cobbler. That was a cobbler, wasn't it? It was cobbler. cabin rentals mm -hmm. around the area here we've noticed all nestled into these big tall pines yeah. very pretty the little Colorado River runs behind them the butterflies just everywhere it's a very tranquil and beautiful area here somebody's on your rear and Greer See if it's 30 amp, 50 amp, or what. She said it does not have water. There's a water spigot right there. You got your bathhouses there, but they are not open right now because of COVID. Got a nice picnic table and fire pit. We checked a couple campgrounds here in Greer. One was down at the bottom of the hill in the, in the town, right in the midst of the town of Greer. And it was $60, $65 a night, yeah. Mountain Air RV. And sorry, we didn't get more information mm -hmm. on that, but we just kind of got a bad vibe from the place. It wasn't that big anyway, and the sites were very, very tight. 
very very tight very close. and you can't get a big rig in there at mm -hmm. all now we came up to Rolf Hoyer campground it's an it's a national park well I think it's within the national of national okay forest. right here welcome to your national forest campground yeah. they've got this section here that you can walk up to the host and reserve and all of this you have to get online and reserve on recreation.gov. It is $24 a night. If you have the senior pass, then it's half price. So $12 a night, which isn't bad. We went back and asked the lady again. There are only two total sites that has electric and one of them the host is in. <laughs> so number 83 is the only one right now that's left. The other ones are all dry camping. And the one with the electric does have water, and it's an additional $10 a night, which would make that $34. And then half price of that if you have your senior pass. Yeah. Rest of them are $24 a night, and it's dry camping. And it did say in the, she gave us a map, and it said to um, make sure you keep your food put away because you have frequent visiting bears that like to roam the campground at night and try to get some grub. And that's it. We hope you enjoyed today's video, and we'll catch you next week here in sunny Arizona. Let's call it a day. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week.